What's going on guys? Linus here. Welcome back to Dead Age. I still have a slight cold, uh, so please bear with me if there are some cold noises in the video. I don't know. Can't predict the future. If I could, I would not be here. I would be rich. Or dead, because the government would probably want to take care of me. Anyway, you know, getting wildly off topic here. Uh, we sent Hank away on a little errand. He is taking care of camp, looking after everything. And we've got Lydia and Liz ready for combat. We've outfitted ourselves with a nice little shotgun that we found earlier. And uh, we're looking good. I also went ahead and gave Liz the medical supplies which we have uh, so she can serve as a party healer. And with that said, we need to talk to Liz about a secret mission. Let's check that out. You said something about a problem. I'm glad you came. I have a feeling I can trust you. You did save my life after all. <coughs> <coughs> it's about an heirloom belonging to my deceased boyfriend. Okay, we already saw this actually. Alright, so we're supposed to find the AK. We had some connections. Alright, end. So, basically... Uh, what we're supposed to be doing is we got to find the AK, uh, which we have a, a good amount of time to do this, and we also still have to make a hen brace, even though we only have one more day, so that's just not happening. We did not get the gear that we needed, uh, sadly, because we needed some old clothing. We needed at least three. We only found one, uh, so that possibility is gone. We will not be making a brace. So instead, we're just going to go to the woods finally a new area we're gonna go during the day and we should be seeing some wolves which I'm very excited to finally see some new enemies and let's see highway blah 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 all right we're just gonna go to the woods during the day and we're just gonna see how this will uh, well how this will play out I mean we're supposed to reach the end I know that we're not gonna be able to reach that in one day uh, so we're gonna have to cover this in more than one but let's just get going and see uh, how far we can get and how tough these wolves really are. It's a long trip, so we might need to take a few stabs at it and try more than once. Promise me one thing, though. What's that? Since the gun belonged to my boyfriend, it has special meaning for me. If you end up giving it to someone else, I'll be very upset. Can you handle an automatic weapon? I thought you were a nurse. So, I'll get the hang of it. So remember, don't screw me on this. She looks so serious, it frightens you a little. She and her boyfriend must have been very close. She must miss him a lot. All right, so we've got a rager and a bitten pedestrian, so we know that enemies are a bit tougher out here. And are at least like a level higher. And, oh boy, okay. We had not seen a rager yet. But apparently these things are really, really quick. I think it might be reflexes that determine how, how fast they are, so because his reflexes are higher than all of ours, barely, um, he gets to go first. Which means that I really think we should need to take care of this thing before any, we do anything else. So, I'm gonna, let's see, lag shot the Rager. There we go, that'll slow it down considerably. And now we actually are a lot quicker than this little monster. So he gets to move, and now he gets to... Wait, how does he get to move? I don't really get that, but okay. I don't know. We'll figure it out eventually. Boom, there you go. Alright, so one more hit and this thing will be dead. Are you kidding me? Alright, now it's dead. Alright, here we go. So since we are with a party of three... I think we should be having an easier time than we did last time. Uh, I know Liz is not the strongest uh, person right now, probably. Uh, we gave her some decent equipment, but alright, I'll take that. You stumble upon a dog. The animal whines in pain as it futilely tries to escape a trap. Yeah, let's free the dog. Come on, I like dogs. I mean, it's probably going to betray me somehow, but I'll do it. You decide to help the dog. This, however, requires some medical training. All right, so we have uh, myself and Lydia. I'll send out Lydia. Lydia grabs his medical, his medical gear and tries to free the dog. When Lydia releases the dog and cleanses its wounds, it seems to feel better. It barks excitedly. You think it wants to show you something. 
You'll find a feeding post with a natural spring. You can restock your rations here. Hey, that's pretty good. Thank you, dog. For working with me there. Alright, not bad. Uh, let's see. So we got a cheerleader and a nurse. We'll just deal with that. Alright, so I'm going to break through the nurse. As always, we're going to deal with the healers first. I mean, that's just, you know, RPG logic right there. Although usually that's also the case in, you know, boss fights and stuff when the boss shows up and he has little minions or has a healer with him. You, uh, you murder the hell out of that minion first before tending to the boss. That's just plain common sense. Alright, so let's just keep wailing on this lady and murder her. There you go. Alright, more materials. We got a lot of materials, which normally wouldn't be super exciting. Uh, but this means that we're going to be able to trade a lot of things, hopefully. So that's actually kind of cool. Alright, infected prisoner. That's new. That's definitely prisoner. The infected prisoner can reduce a target's resistance attribute using vomit puddle. It can also use the skill rancid breath to poison a group of targets, reducing their perception attribute scores, which I think is your uh, accuracy as well. Uh, when encountered, the ranger begins to work up a frenzy, then attacks wildly and without restraint. Using roundhouse, roundhouse punch, the ranger is able to strike an entire group of opponents, so we definitely want to murder this. Okay, blocked it again. Why does he keep blocking everything? It just doesn't seem fair to me. Also, I completely forgot to give Lydia any ammo. Uh, so that's, that's definitely a problem. That's the thing with this game, you want to make sure that you are absolutely prepared when you go out for the day or... Basically, it's a waste of a day if you don't prepare well. Uh, so let's hope that we can still make it at least halfway there. At least that's what I'm hoping for. If we can reach area, say, 5 or... No, I mean 7 or something like that. Like basically, one-third of the way, I would be decently happy. Little rancid breath there. Looks disgusting. Let's kill him. Oh god, he poisoned everybody. What a jerk. Alright, more materials and Liz leveled up. She is now, I think, level 4? Is there a way for me? A tutel, level 4. Lydia has 5. I'm 7 already. Alright, so Liz is definitely the lowest level person here. Alright, so what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and give her a bit of melee skills. Uh, let's put two in that. And then I'm going to give her some, I think, more medical training. Uh, let's put maybe, yeah, probably some more combat skills. So let's get the second, well, let's do assault rifle. She's been talking about this assault rifle. She wants to have it. So we're going to give her the skills that she needs for it. So we're going to go with one assault rifle. And we're going to save up that last point um, for the next level. Alright, more materials. You happen upon bushes filled with berries. So either we collect them or we move on. So they could be poisoned, but they could also be good. There's only one way to find out. You fill a bucket with delicious looking berries. These are just rations. It's not even bad. Alright, we got a, an undead wolf and a dark wolf. Now this is exciting stuff because this is an actual new enemy. Look at these. And he can heal himself, apparently, by biting other people. Perform a strong attack on the target while taking damage himself. Debilitating Maul can drain a target's strength. That could be bad. Alright, so we're going to want to take care of the undead wolf first, I think. Because the other one's going to try to heal up, which is not even going to be able to do. So let's take out the undead wolf. If we can. That's right, like one more attack. One good attack and that'll kill him. Let's see. I'm going to I'm gonna do this myself. Boom. There we go. Completely dead. And then we'll take out the dark wolf. Um, if he's smart, he's going to heal himself up a little bit. Apparently he's not smart, he's just gonna, just gonna do that, so breakthrough. Alright, we can do this easy. Alright, come on, only 19 damage. Oh, that was really close actually, okay. 
Uh, some more materials there. Good stuff. You discover a group of bucks grazing. You consider hunting them to gather additional ration supplies for the camp. Why not? Let's do it. So, uh, Jack is definitely the best hunter here, so we'll send him out there. What a catch. We got three rations. I don't know what the risk is there of failing or whatever. Uh, but okay. I can show you a bunker about halfway there. We can take a break there. Alright, that's actually pretty far, but we might be able to make it. I'm actually gonna have Liz heal Jack a little bit uh, in combat. Even though we do have a med kit. Yeah, I'm just gonna use that on Jack. Because why not? And there we go. Alright, two wolves. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go with Breakthrough 1. And they blocked it again. What is up with the constant blocking, man? All right, you. Boom. I think they lowered their strength a little bit. Or actually, perception and initiative. Okay, probably because they're scared. And let's gonna get ready to use a med kit on Jack. All right. There we go. Seems like somehow they have better resistance against melee attacks, maybe. Uh, which would mean that maybe we ought to save ammo for enemies that are weaker to bullets. That would make a lot of sense to me. Alright, first aid, Jack. There we go, it's 40 healing. Alright, that's pretty good. And then Jack will... I wish we had a little turn order thing. I can't tell who's gonna go first, so just to be sure, I'm gonna kill that wolf. And it looks like that may have been the correct choice. Because otherwise, that would have been one extra attack for the enemy. And you don't want that. Alright, heal jack some more. Because we're gonna try to make it to area 10 out of uh, 20. If we can. You know, we're just gonna do our best, see if we can make it. What was that? Lowered her strength, okay. Eh, 22 attack is like slightly lower than she would normally do. Alright, one more attack and we'll be done. See you, stupid wolf. And we get some bullet casings, which we can no doubt use when we're trying to craft our own ammo, so that's cool. Uh, Rager, Bitten Pedestrian, let's go. Although, I am definitely... ...gonna go after the Rager first. And I have to say, he actually looks kinda cool. I hadn't even looked at the Rager that closely, but... That's like a really different kind of zombie. So far, I'm liking the fact that all zombies are different. Are you serious? One left. He's got one HP. I'm just gonna use Liz for that because she's weakest. There we go. Rager Fighter Challenge completed. And I can't help but wonder... ...how many challenges we've completed and how strong our character will be in a new game. Another... Are you serious? They keep having one HP over. Alright, let's see. That's another three. And, okay, we can hunt some more. Let's do that until we, we figure out what's gonna happen when we mess this up. What a catch. I guess maybe you just get more rations when you're a good hunter, maybe? I honestly have no idea. Also, Lydia leveled up. Definitely gonna give her some skills, so I think I want her to be a crafter so far. Uh, I'm more of a survival guy, Hank's more of a cunning dude, Liz is the medical person, so I'm gonna make Lydia more of a crafter. So there we go, and then also... We can't ignore the combat skill, so I'm gonna give her a breakthrough, which is really, really good. And I'm, again, I'm gonna save that last point. I don't wanna give her assault rifle anything, or a shotgun, or whatever. I'm just gonna keep that point for now. And let's go beat up on some more wolves. Clamp jaw. So that's the one where he hurts himself a bit. Alright, so break through the undead wolf. There you go. And then Lydia will attack it. She's got breakthrough as well now, which we're just gonna have to make uh, good use of that ability. Alright, attack. Alright, almost there. One more attack from Jack should do it, and then we can use uh, Lydia to break through the other wolf there. Boom. Alright, she can use Breakthrough. It's slightly weaker than uh, Jack's attack, obviously, but it does have the same effect where it will lower the enemy's defense, so that's like the only 
reason we even use that ability, so it's fine. You know, either way, it's fine. And boom, there you go. Easy as pie. Some more crafting materials. I mean, you know, cool. I'll take those. And next up, we got a nurse and a cheerleader again. I think this might be one of the most non-threatening uh, fights so far. You know, whenever you see this combination, we've got someone that can heal. And we've got someone that can make the other, um, the other fighter stronger. So, honestly, it's not very intimidating. Alright, we're gonna use Breakthrough on the... Did I just use Breakthrough? Wait, Breakthrough on the cheerleader. Alright, then Lydia will attack the cheerleader. Alright, and then Liz will finish the nurse. There we go. Easiest pie. Now we get just, you know, just one cheerleader. What's cheerleader gonna do? Have you ever seen cheerleaders fight? They don't know how to do that. It's always the mascots that know how to fight. And there we go. Easy. Alright, old weapon parts. Take those. Next up, Rager Bitten Pedestrian. Go. Oh, it's... Okay, several waves. I totally missed that part. Survivor and Horde on dead. There's no time to turn away. Okay, so this could be tricky. We're gonna want to try and keep that dude alive. Uh, because he's probably gonna give us some extra rewards, anything like that. So I'm gonna have Liz be ready to use first aid on the guy. If need is is there. There we go. He's gonna need to be healed. Are you serious? Alright, so basically there was zero possibility of me saving that guy. But at least we can now confirm that having a survivor die will not crash the game. So either way, it's still good to see that, and I just kind of messed up. That's okay. It's first aid Lydia. She's got the lowest health here. Alright, breakthrough. I kind of feel sorry for that guy. Because he never stood a chance. Alright, medic, first aid. Lydia again. Because we can't f uh, first aid Liz herself. Even though she's probably going to need it soon. Alright, here we go. Time for, for wave two, man. Alright, survivor's still dead, so that's good. And it's the same battle. But this dude is enraged. He's going to do a lot of damage to us, which is bad. I'm going to try the shotgun, actually. That's really strong. That's really good, okay. And I have to keep that one in mind. Alright, you know what? Just be ready. Just in case he attacks Liz, if she has a little extra defense, that could be good. We gotta be ready for however much damage she'll do. Yeah, that could've been a lot worse, actually. Alright, I guess I was worried for nothing. Let's see, 41. She's not gonna be able to do 41 damage, so we're just gonna heal... Yeah, let's heal Jack. I think he should get up when, he, when we do this as well. Nope, doesn't, he's not gonna get up. He's gonna keep napping. I, that's okay. That's kind of stupid. Boom! You take that, and then you attack the him. This guy is actually not as bad as the Razor. All right, welcome back to the world of the living, Jack. How's your nap, you son of a gun? All right, here we go. This might do it. Yep, there you go. Yeah, that was a pretty good fight. We got some armor upgrades. Uh, only one though. Alright, area 9, other rager, other bit and pedestrian. Uh, our health is looking pretty good, so I'm just gonna keep pushing on. So far, it hasn't been too bad. And this could actually get pretty bad. Alright, let's see. Boom. And she needs to prepare, just in case she is the target of the rage. Also for heals. Well, Lydia's down. Alright, so you will attack this guy. Now, normally I would have Liz heal, but we can actually finish this guy. So we're gonna do that straight up. Alright, breakthrough. Boom. Yeah, keep going. We got good health. We should be okay. We don't really need to heal anymore. It's gonna feel like that would be a waste of medical supplies, which we don't even have that many remaining. And she has leveled up again. So, we're gonna go up to... Let's get, let's get Ground Volley. It's not gonna be useful straight away. But eventually it will be. Let's get Medical 3. And that just looks good. 
Looks good to me. All right, loot. Get more materials. There's the bunker. Time for a rest. Do you think we'll make it today? We're halfway there already. I don't think so. We should turn back soon. Oh, come on. Don't be a wimp now. Resting in the bunker will mend our wounds a little, and I can always use first aid. Have you ever seen anyone turn? You nod and think back to your brother. His lifeless body suddenly began to twitch before it rose up and shambled towards you. Wait, why is she here? And who's this? Okay. I had to watch a lot of people turn working as a nurse when this all started. Those pure, poor people were pale as ghosts. Their eye, eyes bulged out, frothing at the mouth. My boyfriend was one of them. I nursed him until he died. Got himself bitten by a stupid sister. She always hated me, even in death. You're probably used to these horror stories by now. Now, I want my hands on that weapon so I can show this stupid plague a thing or two. Let's get moving. Alright, so we can either keep pushing. We did not get healed up in the bunker. Uh, which is what I was expecting. So, I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn back. I want to make sure that the camp is safe, first of all. And I want people to heal up a bit. So, we're just gonna go back. We're gonna go back. Yes. This is day seven right there. Alright, so we got 11 rations and 23 materials. And we used up 5 rations overnight. Scavengers have broken into camp. Because you had a guard posted, only 7 materials, 3 rations, and 1 tools were stolen. But Hank was injured defending against them. Oh boy. Dawn is breaking. Alright, but he healed up a little bit. Someone new enters the cantina and smiles with nod at Trish. You hear he had found his way to the camp on his own. What might explain his good mood. Hey there, you two. It's a new day and I'm starving. How would you like to come and do something about it, huh? Jack could join you. We're running low on rations. Why don't you head to the highway and get to know each other? Bill looks at you expectantly. You can find out more by speaking to Bill in the cantina. Alright, so now... Alright, this this mission is, is done. We cannot do this for the merchant, sadly. Uh, we're gonna have to loot... Three car trunks in the, on the highway. Uh, we'll do that eventually anyway. Uh, but we still need to, uh, f let's see, reach the end of the woods. And apparently now Bill is one of the people that can join us, which is good because we can send him on missions uh, and do other stuff. So that's actually kind of cool. We don't know anything about this guy, but you know, apparently he is somewhat well rounded. He likes using shotguns. I don't think there's any background story about this guy that we can see. No, I don't think so. Probably gonna have to talk to him or something. Alright, that's cool. Hank got maybe slightly injured. It's not a big deal. Uh, we were healed completely. Lydia's fine. Liz is fine. Bill's absolutely fine. So, that's good. We can actually push back into the woods when we want to. So, I guess the next day, uh, which is gonna be the next part, we're gonna trade for a bit. Use some of those materials. Uh, choose some jobs for both Bill and Hank. And then, um... Probably just go after the AK again. So, I'm going to leave it here for now. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll talk to you later.